Welcome to Marketing Mix, the program that takes you inside the business of public relations and marketing. Hi, I'm Marie Burbick Graham. If you've ever done an interview with a journalist, I'm sure you were intrigued by the published report. Today, I'm taking you inside the newsroom to help you understand how editors decide what makes the news and why journalists do the things they do. My guest today is none other than the veteran journalist, Desmond Allen. He's the executive editor, operations at Jamaica Observer. Turn your sounds up to the marketing mix, media and public relations, info you don't want to miss. Welcome to Marketing Mix, Desmond. Can you give us an idea of the different people who work in a newsroom and their roles? There are many uh, different people at different areas of the newsroom who work together to produce a newspaper at the end of the day. Uh, the, in terms of the news, they, they, there's the editor, the news editor, the reporter, the photographer. But after they have done their work, then the story, as we call it, goes to the proofreader. And from there, it goes to the paginator, the people who lay out the newspaper page, gets back to the proofreader before it's finally approved by the editor and sent off to the press. So these are the, the various people that uh, you know will touch a story from somewhere from the beginning to the time when it comes out in the newspaper and is on the street. Editors are often referred to as the gatekeepers of the news. You decide what goes in and what stays out of the news. How accurate is that statement? Well, it is accurate because we get tons and tons and tons of information every day which can't make it into the newspaper for obvious reasons. We don't have all that space. Uh, so some a serious level of selectivity goes on every day. Uh, and so, you know, we have, in our own minds, we have a number of criteria that we use to select the, the news. Uh, some of these, for it, we, we like to look at information that affects large numbers of people, uh, because that means that more people will be interested in, in buying a newspaper for that. We, we also look at innovations, you know, news that's happening for the very first time. Uh, famous people, famous things, famous places. We've, we've, we've discovered that these are the things that, that you know, interest people more. And so we go for that. Uh, and I, I can give you an example of what affects large numbers of people. The uh, tax increase, for example. Everybody wants to know, my God, I'm going to have to pay more taxes now. Um, election is coming, everybody needs to know that. And sometimes natural disasters as well, some man-made, like crime, natural disasters, hurricane, earthquake. So they, these are things that, uh, that invariably uh, grab the interest of, of readers. So we, we, when we're selecting, we look for these things first. What are some of the methods, Desmond, by which the journalist gets the information for the news? There are two main ways that we get the news. One, there's a ready-made news that what we call assignment story that pe people will un inform us. Various elements of society will inform us about their events, their press conferences, their dinners, their receptions, their award ceremonies, their concerts, etc. They have an interest in, in informing us about it because that if we decide to cover it, that's publicity that they might not have to pay for. Uh, so that's one of the main, main ways. There's another way in which we do what we call investigative reporting, where we we see something that we think is potentially interesting to our readers. Uh, the information is not readily available, so somebody has to go dig and uh, to try to find out to, to see if, in fact, the story could could come to fruition. Very often, it comes and it tends to be well, the more sensational it, it is. The, the more people want to read it and the more they talk about it. But th those are session, essentially the two main ways. Join us again next time for the conclusion of my interview with Desmond Allen, Executive Editor, Operations at Jamaica Observer Newspaper, as he continues our tour of the newsroom. 
And that's it for Marketing Mix today. I am Marie Burbick Graham. Do join us again next time on this station when we take you into the business of marketing and public relations. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at marketingmix2 at gmail.com or telephone 590-4574.